Hello, welcome to Fishing Squad. Well, about two hours time I'm going to be setting off for another go at fishing in North Wales. i um, got Jay with me and I'm hoping, it's early on in the year, we're, just, we're hoping we're going to catch some fish. We're going to have a really good go at it. Um, I'm going to fish several methods. Uh, up way there we're going to try and dig some lug. Um, I've got loads of scad and squid. I've been using scad one hell of a lot through winter and well it is mackerel isn't it that's why it works so well basically so we're going to be um, using the good old scad and the good old squid and we're going to dig a few lug on way um, on a beach uh, just off on the motorways and then we're going to get to North Wales depending on what time it is by the time we've done lugworm well we're digging the lugworm in North Wales on the way but then we've probably got another hour and a half to get to where where we're based um, so depending on what time it is by the time we get there it'll depend if we have a session tonight or if we just leave it all for tomorrow if we don't if we have a session tonight it'll be on a beach for just a couple of hours you know if we get a bucket full of lug you know loads of lug we may well have a session um with a, a rod each with flapper rigs and tipped off with a bit of bait you know a bit of squid or scad um but the plan is basically uh, get, get on a deep water rock mark tomorrow fish like three methods we'll have a tote bait out on one rig one rod we'll have a medium sized bait out on another for like huss, doggies etc and then we'll have a small rig small carp rod rigged up with a rass rig with lug on probably just dropping it down sides in between times we might put some feathers on and see if we can feather up any let's just try and defy some odds into see if there's any mackerel it hasn't been a cold winter there were a lot of joey mackerel about on this mark where where um, I fished regular at the back end of last year that seemed really confused. I don't think they'd have been, you know, they just didn't. Look, they were just hanging round in in uh, up against rock faces. Uh, they just seemed confused. I think a few of them could still be knocking about. I mean, I know in the local area that herrings are commercially fished for through winter, so there's always a chance of having herrings. I've had herrings off many deep water rock marks. I haven't caught any for a long time, a really long time. Um, so we're just going to have a go if we get any small fish on, on lugworm like pouting or poor cod small pollock we might put them on as fresh bait on tote rig so we'll see what happens so that's the plan for the day we're going to be fishing from sort of just after high tide down to low a couple of hours after low we'll come back up and then we're going to hit a beach see if we can winkle a ray out we're going to have a really good go on this particular beach it's got a bit of a reputation for rays Um and we're just going to enjoy ourselves. Then Saturday, we're back down on a deep water rock mark somewhere, and uh, probably head home Saturday evening. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's looking, it's looking pretty good weather-wise. Nice and settled. Um, can't remember the last time I've been in North Wales and it's blown a, an east wind. It was forecasting easterly yesterday. It may have changed, but it's going to be nice and clear. The sun's going to be out. It's going to get up to about twelve degrees. So. You know, we're going to be fairly comfortable and uh, let's just have a go. So, we'll, we'll put a bit of a clip in at Lugworm that we've dug, soon we'll get some. Um, on way there, not going to too much detail, and then we'll just get cracked on and see if we end up on a beach tonight or whatever. So, see you at the Lugworm Mark. Right, we're down on Mark, um, then just, I've just put a couple of bits at Lugworm in that we got. Um, we really are going for Lugworm. Um, I've got to set the camera on the beach with me, that were all. Um, they're really deep. We did get a few, but we're just going to start off on the mark that we're on by chucking some feathers about. The water clarity is not very good, um, so I'm not expecting too much, but we're a bit early in tide to be bottom fishing and stuff. So we're going to do that for a bit, then maybe have a go with some rass rigs downside at sea calms off. I'll just spin it round so you can see the sea. So that's the sea, we're at high tide. Just gonna let it ebb off for a couple of hours before we put any baits out, big baits out. So it's a lovely day. We've got an easterly wind on our left, just cutting in on the left hand side of us. Um, sea looks far off than it actually is. It's a biggish tide, and uh, it's, it's obviously at the top of the tide when the current's proper hammering through, and the, the, the tides are clashing together, sort of thing, on this corner that we're on. Um, so yeah, we'll just see how it goes. I'm gonna chuck feathers about. Um, See if we can catch something.
moving off again now, Jay. Right, I've just changed over because we're not getting anything on feathers, which we're always worth a go. Got a quick change clip there. I've just put a RAS rig on with a bit of bling. I want to walk around and see it up there. We'll put a lug on, cast it out, and see if we can get a fish out. Sail on it tied, spin you around. On it tied, so we're just mucking about, see if we can get some small species out. I mean, we might get some pouting or something like that, or a pork cob that'll be good for tote bait or husk bait, so we'll, we'll see. I'm going to get baited up and get it cast out, put worm on. Yeah, so got two rods out, Jay's is off left, mine's on right. Managed to find some old black lug in, my, in amongst my frozen bait, so I've, I've just strapped a bit of old black with some blow lug that we dug yesterday. I've had one bait up so far, this is second bait up. Not had a bite yet. The, the bait's come back stripped though last time, so there's obviously something feeding. So we'll just have to see how we get on. Still on it tied, still going to keep it out in time, and then we're going to put some big baits out in a bit. And probably bring these in and just drop them down outside with a lug on if nothing happens. I mean, it'd be nice to get some fresh bait, really, but you know, for tote fishing or hustle or whatever, so we'll see. Alright, um, just uh, tackling two big baits that we're going to have out, two big rods if you like. And one of them we've got a tote for we've got about. 14, 12 to 14 inches of wire. But it's Kyoki 60. I don't like using eight ohm in it. I don't like using fine wire hooks, but these seem to be the business. You know, we're fitting to Gemini bait clip. And I'll get a bite then. We're getting some bites and smaller rods up as well, and carp rods that we've got for, for RAS and what have you. Yeah, it's fitting to the Gemini bait clip. We've got a bit of tubing over it, it just happens to be um, earth tubing, you know, for like. Well, for sleeving up uh, earth cable. I've got a 10 oak yoke circle there at the back of it. Thinking is, if you let the tote run, it's not going to swallow it too far down. It'll either be hooked on the. Yeah, you bet. I need to put that down, shall we? Let's see what it does. I expect this quick. We've got a 10 oak yoke <laughs> circle at the back. Thinking is, if the tote picks up and runs, you're going to get it in. You know, it's not going to swallow it too far down. Um, and we've got. What? About four or five foot length of 170 pound mono, then you grip lead, Gemini bait clip, you just clip it up into that. That's it for casting, all done, nice and neat, really streamlined. So, yeah, that's it, that's it for big baits. I'm just gonna see what's happening on one of the rods. Just not camera off, Jay. All right, we'll just see if Jay's got a fish on over rod at a minute. Now, on this rod, I've got uh, an up and over rig. The other rod, going up and over. I put my clip on the swivel like that. Now this is a this is a super strength Gemini bait clip. Well, I've put it on the swivel, so it's not. You can use it directly to your rig body, but I've got it hanging off, and it still works the same. You can use a multitude of bait clips for that. Any metal ones will work on that. Clips in like that, but I bent the eye up so it gives it a bit of a paddle. So when it hits the water, it definitely lifts up and releases. Um, so yeah, so we've got 60 pound rig body, um, 80 pound, 80 pound. Um, up length, 6 0 circle at back, um, 6 0. That was an 8 0 circle at back, 6 0 Kyoki. Um, no, well, actually, that's a 4 0 BMX. That so, yeah, it should be, it should all work all right. Now. 
Jay's got fish on the sweet there. It's, that bike materialised, he reeled in a lobster. Um, nice lobster. Isn't it? Lovely lobster. Yeah. Nice one, Jay. Do you want to do do hold him up by pincers so you can, like, if you just grab his arms, you can, you can get a nice picture with you. Well done, Jay. Nice one, mate. Show you this, we're releasing him. It's a lovely lobster. Yeah. We were going to keep him. But we're not fishing for him, are we? You know, I've got some lobster traps that I'm allowed to use. I'm allowed to keep him. His legal size. Um, but we're going to do a sport. we're going to do a sporting thing and put him back. You know, it's good for the channel to show sporting a sporting thing, isn't it? Um, <laughs> yeah, get him back, Jay, isn't it, mate? Nice one, Jay. Good lad. Big baits out, we haven't had a bite yet. Had a couple of bait ups, which has happened so far. It's lovely weather. Yeah, we've had to go for rest outside. We've had, we've had a couple of bites, um, but obviously, we've had all we've had between us is that lobster. Not what we came for, but, you know. Hopefully something something happens. I mean, it's a really bright day. I don't like count I say. crabs as a, a catch. Count that He's counting lobsters as catches now. I ain't come for the lobsters. You counted it last time. Well, that's because I caught. <laughs> yeah. We'll see what happens in it. I mean, rules now. It's me that's caught them. we're going to head on to a beach now. Oh, we've got. Um, I don't know if you saw that on camera. We've got a porpoise in front of us. I thought I saw something. Before. Yeah, I think I thought I saw something earlier. It's just there, you can see it, can't you? Oh, pilot whale. One or other, I can't, I'm not sure which one it is. Oh, there, there, yeah. Yeah. So, we'll keep at it. We're going to end up on a beach this get evening, so on. yeah, get feathers back on. <laughs> um, water clarity just haven't been good enough, has it, for mackerel feathering? I mean, there's always a chance of getting something on feathers off here. It's a bit early, isn't it? It's, yeah, it's still early on it, yeah, but. It's, worth a try. it's always worth having a go. So, we'll see what happens. Um, rest of the session. I think we're going to hit a beach oh. tonight. See if we can winkle some rays out, hopefully. I had a bit of interest on the right rod though. Oh, did you? Is that what you're going well for? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we'll see, how we, see if we can get anything out today. I mean, approaching that window now of opportunity. Next four hours or so, we're going to be. Give us a chance, we've got like three hours to low tide, a couple hours after probably. So, see what happens, like I say. Hopefully, fingers crossed, something will turn up. Just uh, blanking. Um, my mate Andy, he plays a song when he blanks. Blankety blank, blankety blank. Do you want to do a, do you want to do a rendition of it, Jay? What? Blankety blank, blankety blank. <laughs> yeah, hopefully it beats shaves our bacon today. We'll add it onto this video. I'm not blanking, I've had a lobby. We don't count a lobster, do we? <laughs> That's desperation, that. It's a good catch, like, isn't it? Well, it's a glorious day, absolutely. Scott I mean, I've got, on right hand rod, I've got near enough a full scad with some squid scrap strapped to it. It's like a Joey mackerel size. On left hand rod, I've just got scad to fill it. Lashed on with elastic. Foot Beach, we have actually bought some mackerel from Morrison's for the rays. I mean, the currents have swung back around. We're going to wind a bit of lining. Just don't panic, Jay. I'm just winding a bit of lining. Really so they brought your neck spinning round then. Yeah, currents just changed. It's been towing through. It really has. Got the old uh, green multiplier. Through 7000 and then put my slosh on, on that rod there. Jay's got an abu on his, on his uh, rods. He's got a, like a big pit carp reels one, other one with smaller bait on. He's got full scad on, on his big bait and he's got squid scad on small bait. But it's not looking good at the minute. Um, let's check what time it is. We've got. 
now we're to low water. So we've probably got about two or three hours still to fish here, but it might only be two hours if we still bank in. I'm amazed we haven't even had a dogfish. But it is what it is, isn't it? I've had sessions off here where I've had like 15 dogfish in a session at this time of year. You just couldn't get rid of them, they were taking everything. But a while ago, you don't, you don't seem to get as many off here as what we used to. Have you got one? Have you got some it? I don't know, but... Uh. The beaches and shallower water seem to produce more dogfish these days. But we'll see what happens one might turn up. Usually they're a good blank saver on these marks, aren't they? I expect I thought we'd have caught something, you know. I really did I thought we'd have caught something. Let's wind a bit of line in. So the, the current will rip into the left, my line will like that way, and it's just come round back in front of me now. But obviously as it's come round rolling right up bottom. Just like created a bow in the line. So we'll just have to see how we get on. Like, you know, not unduly concerned at the moment. I'm sure, we'll find some fish somewhere. If it's not on here, it'll be somewhere else. Right, last bait up. Scad. Full scad. Just going to clip it, clip it into my bait clip. Blanking turns of fish on this section. It's been poor, hasn't it, really? Yeah. I got lots of salmon blanking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm just going to cast it out. I'm having a bear like, really. Everything just seems to be going around. Oh, my. 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 Oh, Today, that by some distance, isn't it? Yeah, it went distance, uh, that. Let it sink. It's, it's been really disappointing, like, really, today, but yeah, we can't. It's about to catch every time you come fishing, can you? So, beach turns it around. There. Look at that. Yeah, it's proper. Thinking. Once you get, once you get a decent it's proper rolling off, innit? Distance out. It's just at the bottom now. It really shelves off. I'm going to put this on rod rest. If we don't, if nothing else happens, we'll be at the beach next. Open to winkle some rays out. Probably go back, dust ourselves down, have some tea, and then buy tea. I mean, a pot noodle and a pork pie. <laughs> and then uh, could have had a lot. We didn't, Probably we just a pot noodle for me. We couldn't do lobster. We couldn't, we couldn't do lobster justice. That's why I put him back. <laughs> you know, pot noodle sandwich with lobster on the side don't go, don't work, <laughs> does it? Um, so hopefully that might get us a fish. It might not. If it dumped, we'll be at the beach next, so let's have it. Well, in glorious sunshine, we've blanked on this rock. Well, like I said, the next bit of video will be at the beach. There's one thing I just want to point out. It's just about making sure when you fish marks that you pick your rubbish up. We've left, left this mark in pristine condition. It was probably better than what it was when we got down here because there's someone's, uh, old, old, there was some old tackle up on this top ledge and they've just left. But I'll just show you what we do now. We do, put it all in a bag. That goes up with us. Take your crap with you, basically. Yep, well, we've had cans, sometimes we have a couple of cans of beer wheels. Obviously, you don't go mad down here because of the terrain, but it's nice and relaxing when you've got beautiful sunshine. But it all goes in a bag, and we all take it up, bits of line, everything. That's just a bit of a, you know, just respect these marks. All right, all right we're going get to get back and uh, go to the beach. All right, we're at the beach now. Two rods out, one way flapper rig up right, that left got up an over rig. Um, flapper rigs, two flapper rig way, scad and squid. That's on the right, on the left we've got up an over rig with mackerel and squid. It's like a wrap to raise, hopefully. Three hour hook. I've got 
Thanks, yeah. It's the bank there, guys. Just give me some of the height. Fine, so we So, let's see how we get on. So, a couple of hours, about two or three hours before high tide, I think. So, we'll see, we'll see how we get on, won't we? Hope we'll do better than we did earlier on, at least pick some doggies up. Uh, not much has happened so far, but a series of little bites that we've missed. I don't know, for whatever reason, we've had some really good bites. Um, I don't know why we've missed them. Um, so we have. Um, we've had two cracking bites so far. Not connected with anything. So it is what it is, isn't it? At the minute, we've only been here about an hour and a half, if that. I'm just waiting for the first fish. We're coming up to the top of the tide, almost. We we'll just have to keep fishing and hope we we uh, catch something. Obviously. <laughs> It's been a slow day so far, but more action here in the first hour than what we had on, on the deep water rock mark in eight hours. So we'll keep at it. We're gonna give it a good go on here like. The water's brown again, I don't know if that's normal for you. And we'll see what happens. Finally off the mark with a doggy. Took a while, hasn't it? You know, we've had finicky bites, they've all been dogfish yeah, bites. Yeah. They've all been dogfish bites, so we'll get him looks and have a picture with him. Right, so we've got a dogfish. Best way to hold them is to hold them by the tail. I won't turn around. They've got teeth, obviously, but highly unlikely to have been eating. Not to be eating any crabs or out. They've got rough skin. But the highly unlikely, highly unlikely to uh, injure yourself hold, holding them like that. Ideally, you want to hold the tail and the fin, but you can get away with holding the tail. When you're looking at them, I suggest you like get a good firm grip of them and then get in here where the long nose fires, or if you can just pop the hook out like I've just done with your fingers. He's bleeding a bit, but it'll be totally fine. We'll put him back. He's got a doggy. Off, off. Look at colours on that. Nice. Spots on it. I'm sure it's not a bullus, it's definitely a dogfish. Nicely hooked. You're going to show us how to unhook it, Jay. Just benefit if you. That's how you unhook them. Easy as that. Are you sure you're right handling that fish, Jay? Yeah, I think I can handle it. Are you I might sure? lose a finger though. Oh, don't lose any fingers, son. <laughs> like last time. Yeah. yeah. Right, nice one. So Jay's finally off at Mark. Took me about eight hours. Took me about nine hours of fishing. Took Jay about ten. <laughs> <laughs> So I'll just rebait him. Rebait him. Big bait, big bait. I'm up and over. We'll get this cast out and hopefully we'll get some more fish. Over here, what time is it now, Jay? It's about. I'll check this out. I've got it, I've got it here. Been here since for three hours. A uh, dog fish each. It's um, been tough going. We've had plenty of bites, we're not connecting with stuff. So. But we're going to give it another couple of hours. It's 10 o'clock at night, we'll do it till midnight. Um, and we'll go again tomorrow. So hopefully this will all be on one video. Yeah, I mean, it's been a good reminder of the start of spring in terms of weather. The fishing has not produced enough for our liking. Well, we only need a bullet to turn it all around, don't we, tomorrow, you know, or something just... A couple of congas. Yeah. On rock marks earlier, it, it was weird, it was as if the, the tide pool was hammering through for the full, sort of, in and out. Sorry, out and then back in a bit. You wouldn't, you, you wouldn't even get a slack water. Horrendous, yeah, I've never known it that. The fairly big tides, but I've never known it as bad as that. Uh, water clarity has been shocking. Well, not excuses, it's just conditions that we're dealing with at the minute. It's like you're at the river here, right? Yeah, it looks like River Umber on Beach Run at the minute, it's just brown. So, we'll uh, go again tomorrow. Roll on June for that crystal clear water. Yeah, roll on summer, innit, when water's gin, like gin and mackerel. It's a good 
good start. It just gives us a bit of a... Well, it just gives us that feeling that summer's on its way, even though we're only in March. It's 10 o'clock now and it's still quite pleasant, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, quite pleasant. Weather-wise. But clear skies. Uh, we'll just uh, keep at it for another couple of hours, hopefully a bit more fish will turn up. We've had a good day, it's just... I feel like we've done a lot, don't we? But it's not been rewarded with anything. We've done a lot, it's been yeah. <laughs> mm. Even tonight, we've had dog what we believe are dogfish bites. We've not been connecting with them. If we would got 100% hookup, we'd have about four or five each. Which obviously is not what you want, what I always say for their feeding. Have you got it on that? I don't think so, no. Um, I always say for their feeding, then other stuff will be. You know, I think it's pretty much sand of that, isn't it? You fish through dogfish and then other fish turn up as well. We want a beach on north north side of the Peninsula. It does have a reputation for producing odd ray here and there. That's why we're fishing here. We thought we'd give it a go in darkness. We fished it two hours in. Now we're fishing it back down. I think it's about high tide now. Just slightly after. I haven't checked the time of the tide. I had a rough idea. But it's not like it's an issue in terms of safety or anything like that. It's, we knew where to fish. The sea's calm, so there's not going to be an issue or anything as far as safety goes. Watching around tips. Nothing's happening. Yeah. So it goes. I find it really difficult sometimes with you on the night. The lighting. I've got a, a, a bivy, you know, like a bivy light from carp fishing. That's what I'm using light now, and it seems to be working quite well. Doesn't it, it make the light? Well, that light seems to be working quite well. The camera you see the screen in. Pretty good. We're, we're, on, we're on camera. Oh, oh that good. Sorry, your lead bouncing on. Oh. That tripod. I thought we were having a bit of that. Look, it's, it's quite a good bit of light, that. If, if, if on my own, I could do, like, get pictures of the fish, no problem, you know. Yeah. Oh, the, the, the lights here, I'll just show you the light. Can't really see it, can It's just like a tube light, but it seems to do the job. So... Bivy light, yeah? Yeah, bivy light, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I wish I wish I had a bit more to show you today, but... There's always tomorrow. So we'll, we'll keep at it. Open. There's always one last cast. Yeah, there's always that one last cast, isn't there? I'm getting a bite at the minute, actually. I'll just, we'll just see if it develops into anything and then uh, hopefully we'll back on with fish. Right, second fish at night for me. Tiny baby whiting. Uh, we'll, we'll just got him unhooked. Didn't even know I had it on. Gonna put him back. I've had another I've had another three whiting on top of that one that I got on camera last all the same sort of size. Um, we've kept a, we've kept some for bait tomorrow. We've just been getting a lot of finicky bites. It's like they won't commit to it. I mean a one oh should be sufficient to hook most whiting. It is on most marks that we fish. I have fished with like size sixes before. But it's as if there's as if the tide. It's making the fish finicky for some reason, which is strange on a on a biggish tide. The amount of bites we've missed between us, it's been shocking. At least we've been getting some action, I suppose. But we'll have another go again. Next session, we'll be having another go on uh, another rock mark. Um, so we'll go, that's, see that bite on the left hand yeah, rod. It's finicky. It's like not a full commitment that's to. A big bait as well, isn't it? Yeah, that's that's a ray, ray bait if you like. I've got like a squid on it. Quite a large piece of squid with tentacles and that to make it look like a full squid. Well, like, you know, make it look like a complete squid. This this one up right is going a little bit yeah. as well. It's a funny bite that one up right, isn't it? Compared to what we've been getting. That's like the type of finickiness we've been getting. So if nothing else happens, um, well I've gone a deep water rock marker, we might have a bit of a chat like when we get back up, we'll see. Okay, so we've got to just come back from beach obviously. Uh, I don't think we've caught anything else. We had a couple more bites after them finicky ones. We're just getting finicky bites all night. Well, um, I'm still feeling confident, me. 
<laughs> soldier months. I've just been told off like because <laughs> you felt confident about doing water rock mark last night. You were saying you're gonna catch this, you're gonna catch that. Then I felt confident about the beach, and nothing materialised hardly. And then I... You've just said you feel confident about this other mark. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I told him to shut up basically. Yeah. <laughs> But um, it's still been fun. But we're oh, gonna we're gonna, gonna use different ways to show. Yeah, use different ways to show. We can put it on camera. Oh, yeah, it was, but um, well, it's been a long day. I'm, I'm knackered. Like, uh, yeah, well, we'll good. stay up for another hour. Probably have a couple of beers and go to bed. Um, we'll see what happens tomorrow. I mean, we've got slightly better quality bait. We've got some mackerel still left. Come 12 o'clock, you haven't got a running water, you're always tired. Yeah. So we'll see what happens, like I say, obviously. It'll, it should be quite a long video. This might go over and out. It might be like our longest video we've ever done. Um, longest video of catching up. Really. Yeah, longest video of catching up. <laughs> Hopefully tomorrow turns it round. I mean, lobster were nice to see, but obviously it's not what we've come for, is it? Dogfish and whiting, anyone could catch them. They got it right. Oh, they've got lobster. I've never had one before. Yeah, but we want to get. You know, you want to be getting if you fish. If you're fishing these marks, you want to be getting like a couple ten, of at least, ten or twelve dogfish, a bullus, and a conga, don't you? At least. Congas have been quite scarce. They have the last few. I had that, six, I had that small one. Month, it, I've, I've had two actually this year. Uh, I got played with them last year, didn't I? I've mm. out this year. Yeah. I've had no one passed before. We've got a different ledge. Basically, tomorrow we've got a different ledge to go on on it, haven't we? You know, and we'll try. I fished it when I fished with Jamie last, when Storm Eunice was blowing a hoolie. It's quite comfortable. It's a, it's a twat of it. Sorry, excuse the, excuse the French. Um, it's a it's a really awkward climb to go down. I thought you were going to say excuse the French in French, and excuse. <laughs> excuse them, <man. laughs> excuse um, them Yeah, it's a, it's a real awkward climb down. But once you're down there, it's relatively comfortable. It's not a very pleasant climb coming back up either, especially in darkness. It wasn't. We've done that before. But we'll just try something different. Well, it's not trying something different. We're just going through the options, and we're going to try and catch some fish again. So we've got a good go, aren't we? I'm, my optimism still still there. I'm I'm predicting now. You know, it's not pre-recorded. It's it's. Ten past one Saturday morning. Is it don't the nineteenth? Nothing because every time you predict, it's done I don't feel like we've failed yet. We're not done. We've got some unfinished business. We're not done yet. Tell that to Ray. Tell that to <laughs> Ray. Yeah, them Rays. Them Rays have got we away. We we'll nailed them for Ray tonight on where we went. Um, I think I think one of us will look at us or Conga before we go. So. Don't matter. Let's see how we get on. But I was saying to Jay, <laughs> I like getting all excuses in after talking a load of crap, so I'm like pumping him full of optimism. Um, I've never done that that well anyway at this time of year. That's my excuse. Even though you bigged it all up for about three or four days. <laughs> it's just to get me here, isn't it? Just get me here to cut grass. <laughs> yeah. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll I'm hoping something happen, happens, obviously. So, we'll see. So, the next section, we should be at the next deep water rock mark. Jay's just baited up. We're at, we're at the rock mark now on second day. Um, show you one of the rigs that we're putting out. We've got a torque flapper rig. Uh, 50 pound body, 30 pound snoo. We just baited up with a bit of scad. Bit of bling, size one of hook. Homemade gripper with tie wrap around it. Just bring your rod tip down, son. We uh, did a bit of a, a moment his tip, tip, tip wasn't bright enough last night because it was just pitch black, obviously jet black, so I've put some uh, waterproof material at the end of it, you know, like off of, off of some uh, chest waders, I think they were, no, like chest, like bib and brace it, one old bib and brace it was for boat fishing, so we'll not be missing rod tip with that bright, bright, bright. hopefully it gets a bite. <laughs> then I'll show you other rig in a sec. I've just got mine out. Better tackle mine rod up. Um, on other rig, on other rod, we're going to put a, a pulley rig on. It's not going to be like tote bait or anything like that. I'll just be after last after last night and yesterday's session. I think the water's probably still not quite warm enough yet. 
for any any like you know your taupe, possibly my ba bait fish mainly. It's not your taupe name mainly. It's like the bait fish. They're obviously not here yet. It's pretty evident that, but it's always worth having a go. So I don't think I'm a loon for having a go with feathers yesterday. Um, but you know, it's one of them things. If you don't try, you're not going to know, are you? Simple as that. I've got I've got the the form book says the, the mackerel don't start showing around here till June these days. Back in the day, they, they were turned up in April. I, I were getting them in May. Um, I think I think in April on some marks it was uh, like in the 90s sort of thing. Um, but uh, yeah. You've got to have a it's worth having a go into if you've got time to have a go just have a go that's my my saying you can always upset the form but that's what my point is so yeah right i'm gonna get my flap rig on then i'll show you pulley rig we've got two we're gonna try two different rigs on jay's he's got a pulley rig with mackerel head in a a trident um rotor bait clip uh, size six o up on mine i've gone for a up and over with a gemini bait clip size six o up so we'll see we'll see what happens. I mean, we found them Trident ones actually work better than what I anticipated. So, we'll see how they go. I know they're probably designed for smaller rigs, smaller baits, etc. But they, 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 they worked quite all right with tote rigs yesterday as well. So, got squid and mackerel on. Jay's got a scad head. So, let's have a go. See what turns up. We've got flapper rigs out at the minute. Nothing's turned up so far. So that's it. We're both out. Just waiting for a bait. Fingers crossed. Guys, okay, so today, the mark we're on, it's a mark that we've I fished. This is my one, two, three. Only my fourth session on it. Now we've come down here about an hour and 45 before low tide. That's when I was getting all the, the bites, every bite, pretty much most of the bites I've had on this spot. But we're just going to experiment to see if fishing it up more pays dividends. Jesus got stuck. Uh, uh, it's, it's clean ground, like what we're casting onto largely. Um, so we're just going to we're just experimenting. You know, when you find a new spot, you need to fish it hard and find the pockets what the, the fish feed in at a certain stage of the tide. Generally, a lot of marks in this area fish better um, as the tide recedes, and then a couple hours back up. This this spot's probably in that same sort of category but it's not as deep as some of the ones we normally fish the only reason why them the, the fish like that is because they're only fishable over them stages of tide without putting like a 16 ounce lead on so just experimenting today it's been a dead dead start so far out of the first four bait ups i i, I had a edible crab on that were and it dropped off on the surface so. We're going to give it into darkness so I think darkness is key at this time of year. Like I was saying at the start of the video, I think catching whiting still indicates the water's probably too cold for like your bait fish, like your mackerel to be turning up. I'll, I'll just reiterate what I've said, it's always worth a go any 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 opportunity you get if you've got time. So especially on a clear sunny day, but the water virus is shocking. You know, you can always get pick pollock up as well. What have you looked into there, Jay? A, a rock? Do you want me to have a go on it? Right. Yeah, I'm just going to help Jay get out of this snag. This is my fish, obviously, on this occasion. <laughs> um, it's a nice us, really nice us. I'm going to give it away, and then we'll go back on camera and get a um, picture and everything. Are you on yet? Yeah. Right, PB us, £10, £10. 16. 16 he is. Look, someone commented about handling them. The curl up. They're really tough fish. You, you know, that's what you do, you hold them like that. Simple as that. Sometimes they'll sit nice for you to get a picture. Other times they won't, but you know, it is what it is. Congratulations, that's, mate. Thank you very much. That's the scale 1016. We'll give them a release and then uh, crack on. Right, so that wasn't a PB hustle. It was 10 pound three. My record's £10.4, 
So I put a six ounce grip lead in its gob. <laughs> um, you did, didn't you? No. <laughs> but still, it's, you know, a double figure hoss. I'm happy with that. So that means between us, we've had one in every month of this year so far. And, you know, for us, it's, it, it, it's, you know, it's some achievement, isn't it, really? Jay's just looking and saying, these were bigger than both of mine that I've had. Yeah. So, quite happy with that. It's obviously, I hope you can see, I'm a bit buzzed up still, so, but I just hope you can see the fact that when you persevere with an area that you know fish as well, like I said before when I come here in February, you know you're going to catch fish. It's just when, it's not if, it's when. And yesterday we had a poor day, but, but you know, in terms of catching anything decent. Um, yeah, yeah. So we just had a rethink, and eventually you'll 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 catch fish. It's simple as that. Even marks that were fish yesterday, we knew the fish well. We can fish well. So you're on the money. That's all you can do as an angler, isn't it? Is just go to the place where you know fish as well. But like I say, I'm, I'm happy with that horse. Box, no fish the same, yeah, no two tides fish the same, that's what we're on about yesterday, wasn't it? Mm. Um, but what we've done now is we've took the flapper rigs off the other rods. Um, you saw earlier Jay had a pulley rig on, I had an up and over rig on. We've now both got one of each on, if you, if you like, on, you know, fishing with two rods. So We've just got a bit of a problem with lobster pot, so we've had to move one of the setups to the right a bit to try and get around this lobster pot rope. It's, hopefully it's not going to be a massive problem. But we'll just have to see how that goes. I mean, good thing is we've still got darkness to come. And it, that bite will bang on what, we, what I was saying once on the way down when, when we've had bites on here. I, was, I said, to, I said yeah. like on camera as well that there's, there's a window where we're getting bites, but now we're going to fish past that window and see if it carries on. So fish before it not done very well. We're going to fish after it into darkness. I think we'll get another one out between us, so we'll just uh, fingers crossed. Oh, 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 hopefully, we'll, we'll have a good session. Oh, we'll just at dusk. Well, it's not quite dusk actually, is it? It looks like dusk, but it ain't because yeah. to the left there's loads of sun, but we're facing one of these facing rock marks, so we've lost the sun early. Uh, we've had a bit of a problem, like I say, with lobster pots. Uh, we're just getting a bit of a bite on my right, on, right hand rod. We're sort of sharing tripods, we've got two tripods, like one's there, one's there, but we've had to split up because we've got a lobster pot just in front of us. Do you have a bite, Jay? It's snag. Okay. Just, uh, we're just getting a little bit of a bite on right and rod. <laughs> Seems to be on a short, short, short rope, that lobster pot. So we'll just like fishing round it best we can. But it has ruined session a little bit, but to worry. Just keep at it, see if we can get something out like something else out. We're gonna give it a good go into the darkness. Right, obviously it's getting a bit lights fading so just making it a bit easier I've just made some wraps up it's obviously so, so everybody does this type of thing that's a bit more organized than me but I've got like squid whiting and mackerel wraps on them up here um, so I'm gonna rebate both rods just before it gets dark and uh, well, it's probably got about another hour or so of dark light haven't we yet so get baits out ready now and then uh, usually darkness it gets better for us on some marks around this area. So I'm hoping that that'll be the case on here. I'm gonna get my fix at football. Go on, Chelsea. <laughs> 2 0. 2. Yeah. Right, it's almost dark. It's been dead. Well, three hours after low tide now. Um, there's a little bit of a momentum. This sea's got a little bit of momentum, but it's, I don't think we're in any danger. We have moved back. Uh, wait, wait. I mean, there's a bit of splosh when it hits the rocks. But we can move back a bit further if we need to. We can move back up onto the earth if we need to. That'd be a bit more challenging though. We'll see. I don't know how long we're going to give it. Um, I'll give it until about half eight. It's just gone ten past seven now. I didn't think I'd have said a bite a minute ago on right hand rod, but it seems to have stopped.
see what happens, won't we, I guess. We've had that one fish straight away and then we've had nothing since. In, you know, as I mentioned before, in that window, I was on about... Just have to see what happens, like... Jay's rod tip there that I showed you at the start of this section of the video. Don't look bad, does it? At least you can see it, it kind of glows it dark as well, doesn't it? Yeah. We're happy we've got a fish, but we want more. Come on. Let's see, get gathered a bit of momentum, we'll have to move right back. Um, obviously, just from a safety point of view, I always base it on when I'm on a new mark. The rocks have got like this yellow algae stuff on. I don't, know what, I don't know what the scientific name is. If anyone wants to comment on what it is, that'd be great. Generally speaking, unless it's stormy conditions, the sea will, will not come onto these rocks this high up. You know, this grows on the rocks that don't get um, hit by the sea very often. So it's always a good guide for where it's safe to stand. I don't know if you can't really see much, but it, it has got some momentum. We're nearly at high tide. Look, see what I mean. Jay said would have been. Jay, Jay, Jay said, oh, it's a good job we're moving, is it now? Jay said would have been alright on that bottom ledge where we were a minute ago. So, it's going to just bush, brush us here, I think. Another good thing is, when you come, first come down, if you come down at low tide, check the pump rock pools. If they're crystal clear like that one, obviously it's been rinsed out. You know, on previous tide, it's definitely been washed out. It's a fairly big tide, it's got a bit of a. I thought I saw a seal. Um, it's got a bit of momentum behind it, with a bit of an easterly wind, south easterly wind sort of thing. You know, you just got to be on your guard. I mean, we're only giving it a half hour now anyway. We're almost at the top of the tide, it's just after 9 o'clock I think high tide, so... Yeah. And again, we'll be taking all the rubbish with us. So I'll bin you around. Great, so... Just put the last baits out, as I was saying. Um, it's gone dead. I can't believe how dead it's been for how much of a good start we had. Um, I mean, it's been a long way to come for, <laughs> for whiting two dogfish, a lobster and a hut. But, you know, it is what it is in here, I suppose. It's never guaranteed. But, you know, this place is in my, it's in my uh, DNA, if you like. So I'll always keep coming back here, no matter how good or bad the fishing is. You know, it's not just about the fishing. Um, here. I've got a lot of memories from fantastic family holidays here and stuff like that. Um, just trying to just experiment with light again. I've got that vivid light from last night. But, I mean, if we don't catch anything else, that'll be it. But we'll do close down when I when we get back just in case we're hooking to something. But I've had some finicky bites as seas come in, but it's just literally gone dead. They're coming back untouched now. Um, it's time to give it just knock it on head, I think. We'll be back again soon, I'll be back at Easter for another go. I mean, you know, I mean, years ago, whenever you used to get huss in winter, we've, had them in, we've now had them in January, February and March, so I'll be trying to get some more out next month, all being well. Watch it, rods. Yeah, so it is what it is. Um, it's a bit disappointing we haven't got more species. We've, we've had a really good go. That us back where we caught on an up and over rig. So it's another fish for one of them, another fish ticked off for one of them. Did I have a bite? Yeah, when you back on. Right. I've got a really big bite, that looks like a bite that, doesn't it? I've got a really yeah, big definitely. bite on that. Bait on that, I mean. We'll just see how it goes, like, um, I'll just knock camera off for now. If anything happens, um, obviously we'll be back, you know, you'll see on video, we'll be back on. Um, but we'll do close down either when we get back up or when we get home, on not we? Home. It's a quick one guys, we're just sat here trying to work out what it is and it's the moon. It's so coming it's up. It's, it's mad. The moon's rising because it's getting dark. Looks incredible, isn't it that? Let's hope it's moon. Yeah. That's what it's called all these massive tides. Yeah. Crazy that. 
Right, so we're just on the way home at Chester now. Um, that's all the knackered. So it wasn't bad, that bad of two days. Obviously, could have been a bit more successful on the amount of fish we've caught and stuff. But, like I say, it's just one of them places where, you know, if you keep going back and keep going back and keep going back, it'll reward you. So, um, we did get a, a little bit of reward, but obviously, probably wasn't enough in terms of time and effort put in. But, another Ross off that new mark, though, wasn't it? Yeah, another another us off, 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 off like double figure as well. Another double figure off us off, off at new mark sort of thing, which is obviously pretty successful. It's got energy drinks to keep me awake. It's like quarter past twelve in the morning. Uh, it'll take about an hour and a half to get back home from here. That class is night time by the way till one o'clock. You what? That still class is night time. Oh, is it? Yeah, that's alright then. It's after one in the morning. It's night uh, morning. Mm. Well, we'll see what happens. Obviously, we. Just a, just a, just a, a side, side note, I don't really thank people enough, but just that if you've made it this far in, in this video, uh, I'd just like to, to really thank you for um, support, you know, subscribes. It means it means a lot. Probably don't mention it enough in videos, I've said it before, but like getting support off people in terms of like sub, sub, subscri you know, just subscribing to the channel, likes, even people that are messaging me and stuff like that. It just gives me a buzz. It makes me want to do more, you know, do better. That keeps me going, sort of thing. I, lo I love, I love, like, videoing what I'm doing and like sharing it with people. So, obviously, just keep, keep, keep. You know, I'd really appreciate it if you've made it this far in video and you haven't already subscribed. Just give the, you know, the subscribe button a hit if you wouldn't mind, please. You don't have to. You know, it's free. End of day. Um, so, hopefully. We'll get a bit more fishing done at Easter, and then we'll see what happens from there. Uh, I know I've banged on a lot about in this video about having a go for mackerel early on in the year. Uh, I just want to, I'm going to carry on doing that, um, having a go for mackerel, um, like over the next couple of months. Just see if there's any about early, earlier in the year. Hopefully, oh, water clarity picks up a bit. Yeah, yeah, water clarity was shocking. That's one of the reasons why lure fishing just really wasn't. Um, Worth it, really. We did have a go. I suppose if you drop your drop your feathers in front of a fish, they're not going to turn it down, are they? So we'll just see what happens over the next few weeks. I'm sure we'll probably get out again, and I'm back. I'm back here at Easter, so um, hopefully fishing will be a little bit better, and uh, we'll take it from there. But hopefully, there's no else to add. Is the jail? Hopefully, this is a no. No. Um, then we'll. Uh, We'll leave you with that guys, I hope you've enjoyed it, I don't know how long the video is, um, I will obviously when I put it all together, but really enjoyed it, so uh, keep safe, tight lines up, good one, we'll see you later. Bye guys.